This is Huawei P40 Pro, four years after its initial launch. Released in 2020, this phone was a game changer in many ways, but how well has it stood the test of time? We'll be focusing on its CPU performance and whether it has slowed down after years of use and is it still a capable device in 2024? The phone does not have Google services. I use Aurora Store and Gbox to download apps. Let's start by looking at the specs. The P40 Pro is powered by the Kirin 990 5G chip. At launch, this was a top-tier CPU. Kirin 995G comes with a Mali-G 76MP16 GPU. This GPU has 16 cores. It was designed to handle demanding graphics tasks. We'll see how well it perform in today's standards by running some benchmarks and real-world gaming. First up is Geekbench. Geekbench measures the CPU performance. The Huawei P40 Pro scored 1014 in the single-core test and 3431 in the multi-core test. Not bad for a device that's been around for a while. Next, we have the 3D Mark test, which focuses on the GPU performance. The phone scored an impressive 3,297. And finally, we ran the Antutu benchmark, which evaluates the overall performance of the device. The result? A solid 732,675. Here are the final results of the tests. The phone also has a function similar to the Samsung DeX, allows the phone to be connected to another screen via Type-C. It goes into desktop mode, which resembles Samsung DeX, and can also mirror screen, which I will use to record the games because it doesn't push the performance. The program works quite well. I was even able to play a 4K video and scroll through Wikipedia at the same time completely smooth. And now it's time for the gaming test. I will test the phone with Genshin Impact because it is almost the hardest mobile game and I think it will be a worthy opponent for the phone. You can view the FPS along with the battery bat temperature in the top right corner. Let's start with medium settings for the beginning. Wow, it holds up well. I will speed up the video until the next settings update. The phone does quite well with a minimum FPS of 48 in the harsh situations. The rest of the time it was around 60. Now it's time to change the settings. This time I will run maximum settings. Let's see what the phone is capable of. And wow, the phone performs great. Look at the FPS counter. The game is quite playable. Despite the fact that the phone is four years old, the result is impressive. The phone holds up well in those tough fight scenes. That's good. And now it's time for conclusion. The phone performed excellently in the tests. It has not lost its performance in these four years of use. It is also powerful enough for modern needs. Also, the battery holds a charge almost like new, 
considering that the phone is used every day. Too bad Huawei doesn't update the phone to the latest Android, it's still on Android 10. Also, the phone does not have Google services, which can be a big minus. It would be nice if Huawei made unlocking the bootloader easy. The fans would immediately make custom rooms with Google and a new Android. Thanks for watching my video till the end. If you want to support me, you can like the video and subscribe. I will try to make better videos. Bye.